Neil Zahn Dynasty back with another report. <sighs> Please like, share, and subscribe. Be kind, helpful, and grateful because it's better than being a jerk. Especially in bad times because everyone wants someone to be kind to them, not be a jerk to them. And uh, buy some silver and some platinum and some crystallized osmium. All good investments. We will find out soon. But that's not what this is about. This is about uh, reintrading what I have been saying for over a year and a half or maybe even longer, and I've done some reports on it, and I've, I've got them on video stating it. And finally, someone else is giving you a report. They're not saying what I've been saying, that India is going to be a reserve currency separate from BRICS and any kind of monetary system they have. Uh, this report lets you know why the International Monetary Fund told India to slow down on being a reserve currency because they had to... Uh, well, let's watch the story and let's see what someone else has to say, not Neil. This is about 32 minutes ago. Gativas from Wyon, India, close to getting a third aircraft carrier. Holy cow, three. That means they'll be the world's second largest navy only behind America. But let's go. I digress. Let's get you some volume here. But having four aircraft carriers is even cooler. And now imagine having a three carrier battle group. That's the stuff of legends, right? Any country that has three or more aircraft carriers can easily be called a dominant naval force. And right now, there is only one so-called dominant naval force, and that's the United States of America. It has 11 aircraft carriers. Every other country that has aircraft carriers has one or two of them. India is all set to have a third aircraft carrier very soon. And if you thought that was a great achievement, here's more. They are going to be manufactured fully in India. Now that's a very big accomplishment. And here's what we know so far. The okay. Uh, yeah, it is a big accomplishment because usually that's, that's a lot of money going to companies and other countries bid on this stuff, showing that we're, we're, we're going more of nationalism for the next 50 or 100 years rather than internationalism, which means NATO is going to play a lot less of a role. UN's probably going to weigh new treaties and trade agreements. Treaties and trade agreements are going to be signed. New borders will be made, new negotiations, new business will be brought up to manage all these differences awesome opportunity to become wealthy if you keep your wits about you and don't freak out and watch what CNN says Indian Navy has submitted a formal proposal to the government the proposed vessel would be the second indigenously built carrier for India signifying a major stride in India's quest for self-reliance in defense manufacturing Currently, India operates its first homemade carrier, the INS Vikrant, which joined the fleet last year, and a Russia-made carrier, the INS Vikramaditya. Having a third one would allow India to have a three-carrier battle group. It would be a show of strength for the... In okay, uh, to go a little bit more in-depth, <clears throat> if you look at aircraft carrier designs... And ask yourself, why do they have the raised bow and the Americans don't? You find out that answer and you'll see what it takes to be a world superpower. Indian Navy in the Indian Ocean, especially at a time when the Chinese People's Liberation Army Navy is increasing increasingly marking its presence in the region. And for decades, India's defense policy focused on land borders. And now, as India's global ambitions expand, it has started flexing its naval power in international waters. India is carrying out more warship patrols than ever before amid growing concerns over Chinese aggression in the high seas. Indian defense... Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Isn't China and India best of buddies and bricks to take down the American dollar? They're supposed to be lovey-dovey and all snuggles and stuff like this and wanting to do trade with each other outside the U.S. dollar, but yet it looks like they're going to war. I don't get it.
explain that. Analysts one. believe that this new aircraft carrier is crucial for India's ambitions of becoming the dominant power in the Indian Ocean region. A strong naval presence with robust carrier. Whoa, 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 whoa. A strong naval presence in the Indian Ocean. Well, if that just doesn't step on China's ambitions, aren't, again, I reiterate, aren't they both in bricks? Yeah, I think they are. Your capabilities will be key in achieving this goal. You see, India's defense manufacturing capabilities have developed significantly over the past few years, and that's because of this. It's because of this progress that in September 2022, India commissioned the first indigenously designed and built aircraft carrier, INS Vikrant. It marked a significant milestone in the country's commitment to self-reliance. The proposed carrier is expected to be similar to the INS Vikrant in its core design. However, it will likely incorporate improvements so as to accommodate larger aircraft on its lifts. Additionally, the design might be adapted to facilitate the operation of high-altitude, long-endurance, unmanned aerial vehicles in the future. All that's waiting is the government's decision on the proposal. And if approved, this project would represent a substantial investment in boosting India's naval power. It will help India protect its 7,500-kilometer coastline and operate hundreds of kilometers away from its shores in the high seas. This would make India a truly blue water navy. Considering the fact that over 90% of India's trade by volume is seaborne, the Indian Navy needs to assert itself in the Indian Ocean. After all, India's strategic interests depend on several countries dotting these shipping lanes, be it Straits of Malacca, Hormuz, Bab el Mandeb, or South China Sea. Uh -oh. India recognizes, recognizes the need to beef up the Indian Navy with more warships. But it's not just about strategic interests, you see. We cannot overstate the doctrinal significance of aircraft carriers to India or to any major naval force. The absence of an aircraft carrier with its range and depth of combat capabilities could potentially force a fleet commander to alter battle plans into a defensive mode. Sure, nuclear-powered submarines with their, with their long-range ballistic missiles are important assets for the Navy, but aircraft carriers, well, they are used for power projection. Take the example of U.S. supercarrier IS, Gerald R. Ford. The U.S. rushed its mega warship to the Mediterranean Sea to help Israel amid its war. It is no wonder that the former U.S. Secretary of State called an aircraft carrier 100,000 tons of, of diplomacy. And this is also why the Indian Navy has been advocating for three aircraft carriers to maintain presence on both the east and west coasts. The Indian Navy needs at least two operational carriers at any given time, while a third is docked for routine maintenance. And what this allows is having two carrier battle groups, battle groups comprising of destroyers, anti-submarine vessels, submarines. Having three carrier battle groups would not only boost India's capabilities, it is important given China's expansionist plans in the Indian Ocean. The faster India's carrier fleet is bolstered, the closer India gets to becoming a strong naval force that is... Well, it's not no longer about being a strong naval force. Mm -hmm. It's about taking over the Indian Ocean and uh, kicking China out of the South China Sea. Uh, both countries are looking to expand. Uh, right now, the, 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 the program I did the other night on India drilling those holes in through those mountains, longest holes and the highest elevation for mountains was purely for troop movements. The only other country around there for uh, several hundred kilometers is China. Yeah, they did a nuclear missile test of an ICBM style missile. I did a report on that right on the border with China. So uh, now this report. So uh, I understand what everyone's saying, but watch what people and countries are actually doing because you can talk crap da, 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 crap 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 while you're grabbing a gun so uh look at the whole picture have a good day